Okay. So Lauren, why the vessel? What does it mean to you? Well, the vessel started showing up, I'd say about five years ago in my work. And it's really a transport. If you were a quantum physicist, for instance, you might say to me, there are 11 dimensions out there. And I might say, well, okay, I can grasp that intellectually, but how do I get there? I think that the vessel is this idea of the dissolving of molecules of how we might symbolically move from one dimension to another. Hmm. Great. And these paintings have an ethereal feel to them. Uh, could you talk a little bit about that? I love atmosphere. I love what might be coming into focus or out of focus and not so much about weather. It has to do with color. Color, for instance, is just rays of light and light is just frequency of energy and energy can move. But these paintings, they're, they're two dimensional in space and time. But I love to create an idea of something emerging or moving as if from life into death or one plane of existence into another. Or if you ever read a book that was wonderful, it was called The Mists of Avalon. And it would be this parting of this atmospheric veils that took you from one world to another. It's fantasy. Mm, yeah. I'm wondering, could you talk a little bit about your process? Is it similar to the sensational roller coaster of giving birth? Do you meditate on anything in particular or just remain in a state of no mind? I feel that when I stand in front to begin a piece of work, I don't have a preconceived idea in mind, but what I do have is as life happens, things start evolving over time. I might make a whole body of work over the course of let's say four or five months, and then I won't even know what the work's about till maybe a year later after life has happened and I start connecting the dots. Mm. So the process itself evolves. I have, I have made certain pieces of work where 15 years later I might revisit that body of work in a different way. So imagery definitely comes and goes and it's not planned. Mm. I consider myself a process artist mm -hmm. and a process artist would be responding to my environment. Hmm. And is there any other imagery that regularly appears in your work? Orbs. Orbs, orbs. appear in my work. Vessels, orbs. Orbs are... I like to think of them as um, spirits that we can sometimes see. Thank you. Yeah.